A very warm welcome to the lunch break concert of Gaudiame's Music Week, Gaudiame's Music Week. Um, both to our audience watching online through streaming, screaming, no, streaming, <laughs> uh, and of course to the lucky few who uh, have made it here to Hertz in Tivoli Vredenburg, the epicenter of Gaudiame's. Uh, my name is Persis Beckering, and I'm your host for the next hour. So for the post-pandemic comeback of the much-beloved lunchtime concert, um, in which talented and emerging musicians and composers showcase their work, the festival has put together a very dynamic program. Two young and adventurous ensembles will play recent works. We have duo Ebano and harp sirens for you. Besides these performances, we also will screen two video works by recently graduated composers. We will start with Duo Ebano, an unusual clarinet and piano duo with Paolo Gorini on piano and Marco Danesi on clarinet. Two friends, two flatmates, as they just told me, with a great curiosity for new sound combinations. Just before the pandemic hit this part of the world, they toured past several Dutch venues uh, as finalists for the Dutch Classical Talent Award. And then um, their debut record was released. It's called um, Blackbird Revolution, in which they combined the works of Carol Maria von Weber and Alban Berg with um, Paolo Gorini's own composition and a work by Boris Bezemer, which we will also hear this afternoon. Duo Ebano, give them a round of applause. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hello. Um, Marco, you and Paolo met in Milan um, at the conservatory. What ignited your collaboration? Um, so we met in Milano, but we started this collaboration actually here in the Netherlands while we were studying at the conservatorium in Amsterdam. And um, well, we both um, are really interested and we love to do chamber music and was very um, we were very sure since the, since the beginning that's what we wanted to do. So we started playing together and we felt a very at, at ease to play together. And then we started as a standard clarinet and piano duo. And then we both felt the urge of moving a bit, a step further. And uh, so, yeah, common interest also. Oh, we are both very open, I would say, musically speaking, in just finding new things. So that's the very core of what uh, triggered this collaboration. Yeah, um, you, yeah you, you have a very wide interest in music. You play many different genres and types of music. Uh, what is the Ebano approach, you would say? Hmm. Um, well, as I said, uh, we, we like to experiment. And we, we did that by implementing the setup which because we felt a bit of strict in this clarinet and piano duo. And then we both listened to lots of not classical or contemporary music, which is what brought us to experiment. We, we just did a, a, a tour for the Dutch classical talent where we played uh, an arrangement of uh, Chikoria. So let's say we, we step in the jazzy <laughs> genre. And then we played also an arrangement of Frank Zappa. So I would say uh, the, the rock. Yeah. Generous. So, yeah. Um, Paolo, um, in the piece by Boris Bezemer called I Love You, you play a very special instrument, not the piano, it's a seaboard. Yeah. Could you briefly introduce this instrument? Uh, the seaboard is basically um, a MIDI controller, an electronic uh, keyboard, but it's very special because uh, the keys are not keys. Actually, it's a really a pad with the shape of a keyboard, and it creates this sort of waves and a C board, yeah. and, um, and it's very special because uh, it really, uh, it is, uh, the pad is really soft, so it really uh, reacts to every tiny movement that I do uh, with the hands and fingers, uh, and uh, I can unlock uh, 
all the features that I cannot do on the piano, uh, uh, timber-wise, uh, uh, dynamic-wise, also the microtonal uh, world. So it's really uh, a future development uh, of the piano. Yeah. Um, you also play uh, Broken Chain, which you composed. Can yeah. you very briefly maybe explain what this Broken Chain is? Uh, yeah. Uh, now broken Chain is uh, divided in four uh, parts, and we can think them like uh, uh, state of mind, uh, emotion, uh, feelings, that uh, sometimes we tend to lock these feelings in ourselves, so let's say we will deal with, with them later. And that's something that I usually do as well. And, but these feelings and the emotion, they tend really to uh, break out uh, in, into the world, so they really don't like their chain. In, they, they break their own uh, chain, mm. so, hence the, the title. Well, I will let you take your seat. Thank you. Um, so, do I even know, they begin with a Broken Chain by Paolo himself, uh, followed by the video Bonus by Nuno Lobo, um, which is a fascinating work for toy piano performed by Inez Lopez. Um, then Paolo will continue solo. He will play Thin Air, um, which is composed by national composer of the Netherlands, Kalio Petsupaki. Um, this work has already been performed at almost 30 festivals. Um, she wrote it as an ode to compassion and an act of solidarity with those affected by the coronavirus. Consequently, uh, Marco will return and you will play I Love You by Boris Bezemer. Um, and then we will watch another video uh, by Frida Gustavs, which is called Spiegelglasse, and she calls it an electronic ballet. Do I, Beno?
Let's invite the harp sirens with an applause, of course. So I googled harp sirens and I got a video of a mermaid with the angelic music put to it, but here we're going to listen to the real harp sirens, six harpists um, specialized in new music and um, unexpected sounds. The ensemble is based in The Hague and founded by harpist Michaela Amici, who unfortunately had to cancel today. Um, so I would like to invite Michelle Verhegem um, to update me a bit. <laughs> Michelle has been part of the ensemble since the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, how have you been convinced to join an ensemble of six harpists? Well, Michaela started uh, together with the department, uh, the composition department and the harp department of the Royal Conservatory in The Hague, together with Ernestine Stoop and Martijn Padding. And she told me already about the idea that she would love to have an ensemble of six harps. And she asked me, like, do you want to join? And I said, yes, I want to join because I would never have the opportunity again to play with six harps. Norm normally we play with one or, well, uh, different instruments, but not with six the same. So for us, it's, it's great. And is there a special meaning to six? Like, why not seven or five? Well, what we did in the project is that there were six harp students and we um, all combined them with a student of the composition department. And they worked in duos on, well, six different pieces. So each duo had a piece they worked on together. And they, uh, well, we also explained about the harp, what kind of instrument it is, what we can do, what kind of extended uh, techniques we have. Uh, we have, uh, each harp has seven pedals, which we can put in three different uh, stands, I would say. And so we have much more uh, sound colors. We can do way more. Um, it's unique in the world. Mm -hmm. um, how do you develop repertoire for this special instrumentation? Yeah, that's a good question. There is, well, not that I know of, repertoire for six harps. So we are actually working together with composers who want uh, to compose a piece for six harps. <laughs> So it's, it's quite a challenge, I think. Um, but yeah. Um, can you introduce us a bit what you're going to perform this afternoon? Yeah, we're going to uh, first hear a piece of Esther. And she is. Esther Wu? Sorry to interrupt you. Esther Wu? Esther Wu. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, she's using a lot of uh, extended techniques, and that means she's using hair clips, which you also can put in your hair. And she does them around the string, so it gives um, a buzzing sound. I can maybe give you, it gives this. So it gives the pitch, but it's, it's well, with a different sound co color, uh, obviously. And she uses also paper between the bass strings. Maybe you can let it hear a bit. So you will hear lots of um, extended techniques. And she also made a melody which, she, uh, which continues through every harp. So it's really nice. The second piece of Julian, um, it's about uh, hummingbirds. And you, we will, he's also using extended techniques. And you will see us with a little stick. Maybe you can hold it up. So you can actually hear the hummingbird. So you will hear lots of sound colors. Thank you. I will let you take your seat. Thank you. Um, harp Sirens, conducted by Hardy Lee, um, will start with Esther Wu's Eschitin. It's composed in 2019 as uh, her graduation work of the Royal Conservatory in The Hague. Um, and then, as you said, you'll perform Julian Maple's uh, Sexteto dos Beja Flores, or a Sextet of Hummingbirds. Um, and you'll be joined by um, Jasperina Verheij on bass recorder and electronics. Um, 
Harp Sirens.
Thank you. So, since this is the 75th year anniversary uh, of Gaudiamus, of course, we imagined it very differently initially, um, but over the last couple of months, the festival has worked very hard to put together a, pro a program that's more or less corona-proof and to give you, um, watching online, the best concert experience possible. We hope you enjoyed it and um, we would appreciate it if um, the audience at home um, would voluntarily, uh, voluntarily donate a little bit. There's the pay as you like button on the left. Um, instructions will follow. Um, furthermore, I invite you all to take a look at the rest of the program. Um, you can find it on gaudiamus.nl. A few highlights tonight here in Hertz. Um, um, I'll be back for the concert of the world premiere of the Rumi Cycle by Amin Amel Ebrahimi. Tomorrow night in Pandora, Zeno van den Broek. Uh, his new work will be performed by Slagwerk Den Haag. It's called Manchin. It's for four percussionists and three robots. Um, and then, of course, next week uh, is the world premiere of Yanis Kiriakides' 100 Years for Orchestra, Four Voices and Electronics commissioned by Gaudi Amis, and it's at the NTR Zaterdag Matinee, played by the Radio Philharmonic Orchestra. So, have a pleasant continuation of the day, and hope to see you again. Bye.